This is a tutorial on how to use Outlook with Word to print out Avery labels using the contact list within Outlook as your data source. We want to open Outlook and make sure that we have contacts in the folder view. And we want to make sure that that folder is set up to be visible to Word. Good example is attorneys. I'm going to right click on this and go to properties and you'll see tabs on top. And one of the tabs says Outlook address book. Click on that. You want to make sure this is checked. If this is checked then this Outlook folder will be visible from within Word and you can use it as a mail merge data source. So I'll click OK and now I'm going to switch to Word Okay, within Word, we need to start the mail merge wizard. We do this by using tools, letters and mailings. If you don't see letters and mailings, and there's a double arrow, select that double arrow, and now I need to find letters and mailings, and go to mail merge wizard. Mail merge wizard should open up in the right hand side called the task pane the first thing we want to start with is labels. So we select labels, choose next. We eventually want to use the current document, but uh, since the current document is not formatted, we'll have it change the document layout. We'll click label options. I haven't noticed I haven't changed anything up here. Click label options and you can pick Make sure this is Avery label. This um, you choose a tray for your printer. I have it select for manual. You can, uh, if you're going to load the labels into the tray, that automatic. You can use auto select. Um, typically, I use manual. It's just a matter of preference. And choose your model number of the label that you're using. I'll try the uh, 5159 here. Okay, so I have labels if that's the uh, the number of the part number of the label that's on the box. And now notice it says use the current document as your uh, target document. So now we'll click Next select recipients. You have three options here. Use an existing list, select from Outlook, or type a new. Well, let's select from Outlook. And then go to choose contact folder. Click that. Yours probably won't come up with this. It may ask for a profile. Just accept the profile that it gives you. And then you'll see your contact folders that have been selected to share its contacts with Word and other programs. Just for the heck of it, I'll click the BNI visitor list. Click OK. And here you'll see all the names that are in the list. If you don't want certain names, say we didn't want Dan Yori, you would uncheck it. Then you click OK. Now we want to arrange the labels. We'll click Next. And we want to choose Address Block. Now we want to make sure that insert recipient's name in format, in this format, is checked. And then you select how you want to address, address the label, whether you want to include middle initial. We click that and notice it changes down here. This gives you a sample what it's going to look like. I'm going to choose this. 
so I don't use the middle initial. It's up to you. Do you want to use the company name? Click make sure that is checked and your postal address. Here you say never include the country. Uh, since these are all domestic, I don't need to include the country. I'm going to click OK. And now we want to update all labels. So we go down here and click on update all labels. So you have address block in the first label and the next record address block. This is correct. So now let's preview our labels. Click next. And there you see all the names have been populated in the labels. Now we need to complete the merge, so we'll click Next. And our labels are done. At this point, we click Print. And we'll say All. Click OK. And it'll prompt which printer that you're going to send it to. Click OK. And it goes to the printer. And that's it.